Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Uh, losing my brain today. Losing my brain today. All right, let's get into it. But before we get into the, let me just start over again. Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We got a good one for you today. Bruce Carrington and Enrique Vivas, uh, which is on the Puerto Rican Day Parade, the Eva Puerto Rican Day Parade card. Um, Carrington is one of my favorite pro- – he's my favorite prospect in the sport right now, him and uh, uh, Abdullah Mason, one of those two. I think Carrington is getting close. I think this is a good step up fight for him. Uh, I think after this, it, it may be a world title. Uh, this is a kind of fight that puts you in line for that. Maybe one more after that, but he's getting close. Let me know what you guys uh, think. But before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow – the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, yeah. Also, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Join the Patreon. It's $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. The lock of the week hit again last week. It was a, I thought, a home run, easy money. Pays really good odds. The lock of the week we are consistently making money on. I got all types of stores, all types of people making money hand over fist here. I gave you guys two locks uh, that both hit, two two lock of the weeks. If you join the Patreon, like no one else can do it like I can do it. You know, I'm the best at this. Join the Patreon. It gives you all types of perks. Ask me to do anything. A- a- ask me anything. Ask me to break down a fight. I give you guys. Uh, I'll give. I'll probably do another lock for this Wednesday's Pro Box card. You all types of locks. We make money that I don't do on the channel. Props that come out after I do the video. We'll, we'll touch those uh, on the Patreon. All out for just five dollars a month. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Also, join the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, so let's get into this fight. All right. Like I said, Shushu Carrington, Brooklyn, New York. One of, if not my favorite prospect in the sport. He's one of two guys. He was my prospect of the year on 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, Long, rangy, powerful, quick reflexes. Really twitchy, quick reflexes. When you ha- are long and rangy and fast, you have such an advantage over everyone. If you're longer, rangier, and faster than your opponent, you're at an advantage. Every fight starts at range. You have the speed to keep it there. Now, to keep it there. You know, that's, that's easier said than done, but it is a, a functional advantage that he's going to have. He's got a good jab. He keeps you at bay with it. He knows how to use his range. He knows how to use He's got an excellent jab. Good defensively, good head movement. He just does so many things well. He's responsible with his high guard. He ch- he changes up his defensive looks. He's not easy to time. He's not easy to predict. Excellent feet. Throws from different angles. A little cocky. A little arrogant. You know, there's downside to it. Again, I, I'm, I'm nitpicking because I think he's ready for a world. Uh, we're going to get a better... You know, a better judgment on where he is on this fight. But I think he's guys close to a world title fight. I think after this one or maybe one more and he'll be there. So I'm going to get a little nitpicky on him. He's a little cocky, a little arrogant, but he's a smart kid. Smart, bright. You can tell he's got the ring IQ. A little bit too much, one punch at a time. Like you see a little bit more combination punching. But like I said, he's such a smart kid. He's a bright kid. He has the ring IQ. He's smart in and out, outside of the ring. Just a little cocky, a little brash. You know, I think a guy like Enrique Vivas with his style can kind of humble him a little bit. Like, this is going to be a fight. If you looked at uh, Shushu's last fight, which was at uh, the Garden on the uh, Shaki Forster call when he fought uh, b- 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 Torres. Barak Torres. He got the sensational knockout, but Torres was giving him a little little bit of a fight before that. I think another fight like that where Vias touches him, hurts him, you know, puts hands on him a little more than he's had in the past, I think that'll humble him a little bit, which is, I, I think he needs. I, I don't mind the arrogance, but at a certain point, you need to get past that. Again, I am nitpicking our character because I think he's that good of a prospect. Sharp jab, accurate, not a huge volume guy. Really, really good skills from the outside. 
good power, good uppercut. He's good on the inside. He's good at all three levels. Good body puncher. It's just he checks so many boxes, which is why I like him so much. And then he's got the natural speed, height, reach, really good power. We saw in his last fight. He has a complete bag offensively, right? Like he's like the Kyrie Irving. His bag is just so like, – there's nothing in it. That there's nothing he doesn't have in his bag is what I'm trying to say. And then the twitchy reflexes. He's so quick. He's hard to hit. He, this guy is just going to be so difficult to deal with over 12 rounds. If you can get through, if you can get him to go 12 rounds, that's not gonna, an easy task either. Enrique Vivas. You guys should be familiar with him. Jose Enrique Vivas, 23 and 3. He's fought uh, Luis Correa. He's fought uh, Eduardo Baez, Eddie Valencia. Recently, Joe Gonzalez actually fought one since then. And that was in Mexico against a guy that was 2018. He got one first round knockout. He fought John Vincent Moralde. He's been in Saul Juarez, Raul Ruben Villa, lost. That was, on a, that was in Texas. That was on a uh, showbox card, I believe, back in 2019. So that was a long, long time ago. But he's been around. He's been tested. He's a real opponent. Like, I, I think by far this is – and he fought Karen, uh, he, he, he fought George Gonzalez stuff. This is a guy I, I think by far this is the – I always fought Jason Sanchez. But I think this is by far the toughest guy that characters fought. Character 27, right? So he's not that young. I know he's only had all 11 fights. But this is a, a, a big step up. I think it's a test. I think we're going to see where he stands after this at the 126 or 130 pound division. Let's see, you know, where he wants to move at, what he, what division he he wants to be a part of. I look at the names, I, and I'm looking at. Well, we'll we'll, we'll, get, we'll get to that later. Vivas, short, stocky, come forward guy, starts quick, explosive, front foot heavy, come forward, swarming pressure fighter. He is what he is. He's not perfect. But he throws in good volume. He throws hard. He throws clean shots. He's come forward. There's not a lot of movement. He's in front of you. He th- he's there to be hit. Good volume. He might be able to win a round or two on, on volume. Can he make Carrington uncomfortable? Not a lot of movement. He's there to be hit. He, he is what he is. He, he's your typical kind of Mexican pressure fighter. He's going to be in front of you. He's going to make it a fight. He's going to make your life uncomfortable. He's going to throw a bunch of punches. He's going to try to work the body and break you down. Can he, can he cut off the ring on Carrington? I, I say not, but he's not a bad fighter. He's a pretty good fighter. He's going to give – he gives he has and will give good fighters trouble. He's a little bit slow. He's a good counter puncher. You know, he looks to cut the ring off on you and, and, and be in your grill. Doesn't have a lot of legs, right? He doesn't move much. He's not a master at cutting off the ring. You know, he's not Triple G. But he's not a bad fighter either. He's a nice little fighter. Again, it, it, I think it's this and then maybe one more for Carrington and, and then a world title fight. It's kind of what I project from. So let's let's take a look at the odds. They don't have the props on this yet, and I, I'm not sure I'm going to take Carrington by stoppage. Um, so this is probably the best left for a parlay. We add this to our parlay. We can double that. You know, two dollar bet to make it fourteen twenty eight minus fourteen hundred. That's the odds on it. It aren't. I don't like take. He, Carrington could stop him. That's very possible. I I don't think my my hunch is that it goes the distance. So I don't think Carrington stops him because this guy is is, is like I said, he's a good fighter. He's, he's rugged as hell. I just don't – it, he could. It, it's very possible. Like, Cowering is a special fighter, so he could stop Vivas. He, but Vivas has never been stopped. He's got a chin. He's tough as hell. I think the fight goes the distance. I wouldn't bet on that. I wouldn't feel totally comfortable locking that in unless the odds are super good. But as part of a parlay or a standalone bet, if you just want to bet the house and make some money on an easy money bet, Carrington minus uh, 1,400, two times your regular bet – a twenty dollar bet would make you fourteen twenty eight. That's all we got, guys. It's not great, not a great fight to bet on, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. 
Follow the Boxing Bookie in all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. It is June 2nd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.